neurofeedback versus transcranial magnetic stimulation. What are the differences? I'm Dr. Trish Lee, let me tell you. Okay, so first of all, neurofeedback and transcranial magnetic stimulation are considered non-invasive treatments. And that non-invasiveness does exist on a continuum. So one major difference is that neurofeedback does not put anything into the brain. It simply teaches the brain to make more of perfect processing speed in the middle and to decrease the use of extra fast, high energy brain speeds that create anxiety and these extra slow brain speeds that create distraction and lack of focus. So when we bring these brain speeds down and the speed in the middle for perfect calm focus, the brain is essentially taught to perform better. It is a teaching modality. Now, transcranial magnetic stimulation exposes the brain to an electric, electrical magnetic impulse. So it does send a signal into the brain. And transcranial magnetic stimulation has its utility, especially for people with depression. Because when people are depressed, kind of stimulating the brain in the right direction by sending an electrical signal can work. But I will tell you, science shows that people can have an ab reaction to sending that signal in. When it comes to neurofeedback, the brain is taught to increase that middle calm focus speed so that now the person can go out and engage with the world and no longer feel depressed and demotivated, but to feel inspired and motivated. So the main difference is neurofeedback does not put anything into your nervous system. It simply teaches your brain to perform better when transcranial magnetic stimulation does expose the brain to a magnetic impulse. Okay, I hope that helps you out. And remember, control your brain or it'll control you.